There are people around the world that you'll never know who are suffering through their own losses, who see you, your courage. Your courage gives them courage that they too can get up and keep going. And we hope that 20 years later, the memory of your beloved brings a smile to your lips, even while still bringing a tear to your eye. In the days that followed September 11, 2001, we saw heroism everywhere, in places expected and unexpected. We also saw something all too rare, a true sense of national unity, unity and resilience, the capacity to recover and repair in the face of trauma, unity and service, the 9-11 generation stepping up to serve and protect in the face of terror, to get those terrorists who were responsible, to show everyone seeking to do harm to America that we will hunt you down and we will make you pay. And that will never stop today, tomorrow, ever from protecting America. Yet we also witness the darker forces of human nature, fear and anger, Resentment and violence against Muslim Americans, true and faithful followers of a peaceful religion. We saw a national unity bend. We learned that unity is the one thing that must never break. Unity is what makes us who we are, America at its best. To me, that's the central lesson of September 11th. It's that at our most vulnerable, in the push and pull of all that makes us human, in the battle for the soul of America, unity is our greatest strength. Unity doesn't mean we have to believe the same thing. But we must have a fundamental respect and faith in each other and in this nation. We are unique in the history of the world because we're the only nation based on an idea, an idea that everyone is created equal and should be treated equally throughout their lives. That is the task before us to once again lead not just by the example of our power, but by the power of our example. And I know we can, for I know hope is not simply an expectation. Hope is a conviction. Hope allows us to act with courage, to act and honor those we lost 20 years ago, and those who have given their whole souls to the cause of this nation every day since, to act and build a future not a reactionary one or one based on fear, but a future of promise, strength, and grace worthy of their dreams and sacrifice, and to act and keep the faith that while life is fragile, it is truly something wonderful. We find strength in its broken places, as Hemingway wrote. 